Good morning, dear students. In the last class, uh, I have completed till question number nine, and uh, the children has submitted their homework. I saw all of them correct. Uh, today, we are going to start from question number ten, and in this exercise, especially we are using. the criteria of similarity i want to remind you there are three criteria s s s s a a a or a a and s a s question number 10 you can see on the screen uh, i have given like this way because uh, you can see clear image question number 10 cd and gas are respectively the bisectors of angle acb and angle E G F says that D and A lie on the sides A B and F E of triangle A B C and triangle E F G respectively. If triangle A B C similar triangle F E G, so that C D by G S is equal to A C by F G number two triangle D C B similar triangle A G and number three triangle D C A similar triangle A G F. Okay. Now see, and they have not given the figure. First of all, you have to draw the figure. From the given information, we can draw the figure easily. CD and GS are the respectively the bisector of angle ACB and angle EGF such that D and A lie on the lie on sides AB and FE of triangle ABC and EFG. So there are there are two triangles. ABC, ABC. You can see on the screen and what EFG have drawn. Now see, CD and GS are the respectively the bisectors. Of ACB means CD is bisector of angle ACB. So CD bisector of ACB. Okay, and EGF. Sorry, GS is the bisector of angle EGF. Okay, now also they have given that uh, triangle ABC similar to triangle. This whole triangle is similar to the whole, that triangle. Okay, so first of all, uh, it is given that triangle ABC similar triangle FEG. So We can write what when two triangles are similar, their corresponding sides are all are in the same ratio, and their corresponding angles are equal. That means here, angle A is equal to angle F, angle B is equal to angle E, and angle A C B is equal to angle F G E. Okay. See, first of all, here angle A C B is equal to angle A F G E or not? See clearly, A C B is equal to F G E. Now, uh, C D is the bisector of angle A C B and And what? G S is the bisector of angle E G F. Then, if angle A C B is equal to angle A G F, A F E G, sorry, angle F G, then it is given that C D N G is the bisector. Then we can say that uh, if you after bisecting there are two equal angles, then the equal angles are also equal. That means I want to say that. If angle ACB is equal to angle FG, then you can say that angle ACD is also equal to angle what? FGH and angle DCB is equal to angle FGH because they have given the CD and GS are bisector. Okay. Now CD by first on first on what CD by GS is equal to AC by FG. You need to prove that one. So for this, we have to select two triangles, and we need to see and we have to calculate in our mind. That which two triangles you will show uh, similar, then we will get this result. C D by G S equal to A C by F G. So here I have shown uh, I am taking triangle A C D and triangle F G H. See, in triangle A C D and triangle F G H, angle A is equal to angle F. Already it is given in the question because tri whole means triangle A B C is similar to triangle what? F E G. So angle A is equal to angle F corresponding angle. And angle ACD is equal to angle FGH. Just now I have told that ACD is equal to FGH because of angle bisector. So you can write here proof above. Already you proved. And this is what A, we got two triangles. So using A, we can say that triangle ACD is similar triangle FGH. Clear? Write out here under bracket by A similar criteria. Or you can write using A. Okay? So you can see these two triangles similar. Then What we need to prove C D by G S and C D is the what corresponding side of triangle A C D and C D and corresponding side of C D is what here C G H so C D by G S you can write then also A C A C then corresponding F G so A C by F G 
so number one put i have all of you understood number two triangle dcb similar triangle ag ag in triangle dcb and triangle ag angle dcb is equal to angle ag you can see already you have written here angle dcb equal angle that's only we are using here angle dcb is equal to angle ag and also in triangle dcb and triangle ag angle b is equal to angle e because uh, in the question it is given the triangle abc similar to triangle F is e. that is why corresponding angles equal so this one also using a you can say that triangle dcb similar to triangle ag okay next next three number we need to show dcs similar to agf so first of all take which you are taking triangle dc and triangle agf this one also angle acd I hope all of you understood this one. Angle ACD is equal to FGH and angle A is equal to angle F. F. So, triangle D, A, by using A, triangle DC is similar to triangle ACF. Okay. Only need to see the their angles. Okay. Now, question Next. number 11. In the flowing figure, here uh, you can see the figure. It is given in the question. In the flowing figure, E is a point on side CB produced. They see CB produced, produced of an isosceles triangle ABC with AB is equal to AC. If AD perpendicular to BC and AF perpendicular to AC, prove that triangle ABD is similar to triangle ACF. See, here CB produced to E and also the, in the question it is given that ABC is an isosceles triangle and AB is equal to AC. Clear? So, here one need to show that triangle ABD similar to triangle ACF. First of all, we have to see what are the information they have given in the question. First of all, it is given that triangle ABC is the isosceles triangle, then AB is equal to AC. If AB is equal to AC, so using property of isosceles triangle, angle B is equal to angle C. Angle B means angle, angle ABD because angle B can be said that angle ABD and angle C you can say that ECF. Yes or no? ECF and angle C is the same. So angle B and angle ABD is the same. So angle ABD is equal to angle ECF. Now, Which one need to prove? Triangle ABD and triangle ECF. So, right in triangle ABD and triangle ECF, already we have done it. Angle ABD is equal to angle EFC. Sorry, angle ADB is equal to angle EFC. It is given. Why? Because angle ABD, maybe I told ABD, it is not ABD, ADB. Okay. Angle ADB, since it is 90 degree, angle D is 90 degree, it is linear pair. So, angle ADB. If ADC is 90, so angle ADB is also 90 because AD is perpendicular to BC. So angle ADB is equal to angle EFCC. EFC angle A also 90 degree. And it is interesting that ADB and EFC are the what? Corresponding angle. And also they are both, both of them 90 degree, so they are equal. And also uh, angle BAD, you can see BAD is equal to what? CF. Why? Why it is equal? Can you tell me? See, here already we have shown we have shown that angle ABD is equal to angle ECF using what? Properties of isosceles triangle. See, in triangle ABD and triangle ECF, what, uh, again we got what? Angle ADB is equal to angle EFC, it's 90 degree. Means two of the angles are equal. Then obviously the third angle is equal. Yes or no? So that is why you can say third angle means what? Angle BAD is equal to angle CF. And if you want to use direct ABD is equal to ECF, that one also you can use. Because we need only two angles. Yes or no? So using AA, triangle ABD similar triangle ECF. Okay? I hope all of you understood this one. Now, question number 12. Sides AB and BC are median AD of a triangle ABC are respectively proportional to sides PQ and QR and median PM of triangle PQR. Uh, see, the, see the given figure. Uh, so that triangle ABC is similar to triangle figure. First of all, see this figure. Here ABC and PQR are two triangles. 
and AD and PM are the medians of the sites BC and Q are respectively. So, uh, here we need to prove that triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. So, two, uh, so similar uh, these two triangles should maintain one of the criteria of similarity. So, which criteria they will flow? Let us see. First of all, we know that median equally divides the opposite sides here because uh, AD is the median of BC. So, we can say that BD is equal to DC or you can say that BD is equal to BC by 2. Similarly, PM median to QR. So, you can say QM is equal to QR by 2. I have already understood. Now, it is given that sides AB and BC and median AD of a triangle ABC are separately proportional to the sides PQ, QR and median PM. That means we can write given that AB by PQ is already given BC by QR and AD by PM. See, already we have AB by PQ, BC by QR and AD by PM. This BC we can write BC by 2 that means half by half of BC or QR you can write half of QR and is equal to AD by PM. Now, half of BC you can write what? BD or DC. So, write BD and half of QR you can write what? QM. So, at last we got AB by PQ is equal to BD by QM is equal to AD by PM. Now, in triangle ABD and triangle PQM, see clearly ABD and PQM, we have AB by PQ is equal to BD by QM and also equal to what? AD by PM, yes or no? See clearly, AB by this this all are the three sides of triangle ABD and the PQ from PQM you can see all are the sides of tri from triangle PQM that means I want to say that in triangle ABD and triangle PQM the corresponding sides are in the same ratio that is AB by PQ is equal to BD by QM is equal to AD by PM so by using SSS triangle ABD similar triangle PQM once we have shown that triangle ABD is similar to triangle PQM, so we can say that their corresponding angles are also equal. That means angle ABD is equal to angle PQM, that is angle B is equal to angle Q. Now, actually we need to show that what? Triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR, whole triangle. So, in triangle ABC and triangle PQR, already we have what? Angle B is equal to angle Q, that is angle ABC is equal to angle PQM, PQR. Yes? And it is given that AB by PQ is equal to BC by QR. Now you can see AB by PQ, BC by QR, and B angle B and angle Q is equal. So using SAS, we can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. Okay. Next. Now question number 15. A vertical pole of a length 6 meter cast a shadow 4 meter long on the ground. A vertical pole, how much length? 6 meter cast a shadow 4 meter long on the ground. And at the same time, a tower cast, tower cast, a shadow 28 meter long, find the height of the tower. Here, first of all, we have to draw a vertical pole. You can see here, A, B and C, D are the tower and pole respectively. Means, A, B is the tower and C, D is the next. Here, let the shadow be, you can see in the figure, and DF be the shadow of A, B and C respectively. At the same time, the light rays from the sun will fall on the tower and the pole of the same angle. That means, I want to see their top angle. Understood? Means, here we can see that sun rays falling at the same time. At the same time, the light rays from the sun will fall on the tower and the pole at the same angle. If sun rays falling at the same time, we can say that the if they fall fall on the same fall, fall on the same time, that means you can say that the angles are equal. Yes or no? So therefore, we can say that angle DCA is equal to angle BAE. Means angle C and angle A, sun rays falling on the same time. That is why angle C is equal to angle A. And also, uh, CD is a what? CD is a pole and AB is a tower. 
and obviously their altitude means height and they form how much degree 90 degree means we can say that angle dfc is equal to angle ba why because try to understand because angle d and angle b is equal that is why angle d dfc is equal to angle ba means we can say that all the three angles are equal this angle a and angle c because of sun rays angle b is equal to angle d angle d is equal to angle b y 90 degree and these two angles are equal that is why you can say that the angle sum property angle dfc is also equal to angle b a okay so using a a a or a you can use only two angles here understood if you want to use you can use two angles any two angles here so using a a a these two triangles are what similar now we get triangle ab similar triangle cdf so we can write their corresponding sides are in the same ratio so ab by cd is equal to b by df so ab cd is 6 cm and b is 28 and df is 4 using cross multiplication if you simplify it then you can get ab is equal to 42 meter that means ab is what height of the tower therefore height of the tower is 42 meters i hope all of you understood so in case any doubt please get back to me in the evening okay now see your homeworks question number 13 14 and 16 try to solve these questions and submit in the evening thank you have a nice day